We are back again in Chicago with more details on the developing case of Lil Durk and his, well, somewhat sloppy hit for hire crew. More information has come out on alleged informant friend OTF Jam. Possible motivations for his betrayal of Lil Durk could be related to the death of his girlfriend. Tonight, a young woman is dead after a shooting in the southwest suburbs. Her body found early this morning in a car in Orland Park, not far from Andrew High School. Our Nate Rogers spoke with relatives and neighbors tonight and joins us now live. Nate. That's right, Scott, and um, this is truly heartbreaking for this family. In fact, the family telling me tonight they have more questions than answers, and they say they are more than 100% sure that their loved one was not the intended target. We've learned that she lives and works in Chicago, and according, again, to relatives, they say she knows nothing about this area here in the south suburbs where she was found killed. Text somebody yesterday and I told him that's my baby, that's my sweetheart. That's how we all gonna remember her. Michelle A. Williams, a postal worker and mother of three young sons, dead at 28 years old. Her aunt, who practically raised her, is heartbroken. This is not something that's just finna get brushed under the rug and not be solved. Mm -hmm. They need to find out what happened to my niece. So many gunshots were fired. Take a look at the crime scene. Evidence markers covering nearly 30 bullet casings. It happened Wednesday around midnight at the Orland Ridge townhomes along Red Bud Lane. Police found the vehicle with the headlights still on, the driver and passenger doors open. Williams' body lying on the ground. Family members tell Fox 32 the young mother was a passenger inside the car along with some friends, including another female postal worker and to men. When was the last time that y'all heard from her? My family talked to her. She talked to somebody in the family every single day. Mm -hmm. So we don't know who she was with. That's what we're trying to find out. Police went door to door talking to neighbors and scanning surveillance footage for leads. Authorities have not yet released a motive. Precious ain't did nothing to nobody and she didn't deserve this. She not a street person so this need to get solved. As loved ones continue to grieve the sudden death, what hurts most? William's nine-year-old, four-year-old, and eight-month-old sons never to see their mother again. And tonight, we do know that that killer remains at large. Police have not said if the victim was, in fact, the intended target. Also, we've not been told whether someone else in the vehicle was injured or not. We do know that the South Suburban Major Crimes Task Force, along with Orland Park Police, are investigating. In Orland Park, I'm Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago. Further details on the feds outline the involvement of OTF Jam, a former associate who served 12 years and allegedly cooperated with authorities after his release. He claims Dirk's favoritism and his personal grievances over his baby mother's unresolved murder. The streets highlight Jam's possible collaboration with federal authorities as a key factor in the case. Various statements and alleged details from associates and evidence suggest a cycle of retaliation, potentially involving Dirk's efforts to avenge the death of King Vaughn by targeting Quando Rondo. Additionally, the case of Michelle Williams, who is not a Chicago postal worker, had ties to the situation, is discussed. Reports indicate she may have been targeted due to her connection to individuals within OTF though there remains ambiguity around whether her murder was intentional or collateral. Rumors in online communities, driven by posts from hip-hop blogs, suggest conflicting information regarding possible informants within OTF. And mixed reporting has spread speculation that certain individuals wore wires to capture evidence. Speculation on details about Lil Durk's potential involvement in the murders of FBG Duck and FBG Cash, two Chicago-based rappers who were known to be associated with rival factions. FBG Duck, born Carlton Weekly, and FBG Cash, born Tristian Hamilton, were prominent figures in the drill rap scene and part of the Flyboy Gang, FBG, a group associated with the Gangster Disciples, GD, which has historically been at odds with Durk's affiliations. Dirk's alleged involvement in their deaths is a focal point for those 
who believed that street-based feuds were a driving force behind these incidents. With accusations that Dirk financed retaliatory actions against these rivals as part of ongoing factional conflicts in Chicago's rap and gang culture. FBG Duck's murder in August 2020 was a significant moment in Chicago's drill scene, largely because it happened in broad daylight in the upscale Gold Coast neighborhood. According to the speculation, Dirk or members of his OTF, Only the Family, group might have played a role in orchestrating or financially backing the hit. The video touches on the fact that FBG Duck had previously taunted deceased members of Dirk's crew, including Dirk's cousin, Nusky, and close friend, King Vaughn. In response, Dirk and his associates may have seen Duck as a target, making a statement in a high-profile area to show that these conflicts could reach even beyond typical areas associated with gang violence. Reports circulated that substantial resources were allocated to execute this hit with precision, a fact that led some to question if such an operation could have been funded without external financial backing. This has given rise to the theory that Dirk's financial involvement was pivotal in making the murder happen. Further complicating matters, rumors and unverified social media posts allege that Dirk may have directly or indirectly placed bounties on his rivals, paying to eliminate those seen as threats or detractors in Chicago's gang scene. These allegations draw attention to patterns in drill music, where rappers frequently taunt each other and memorialize fallen associates, sometimes provoking real-world violence. The streets highlight the idea that Dirk, despite his mainstream success, might still hold personal ties and a sense of duty to avenge the deaths of close associates, which would align with rumors of his involvement in FBG Duck's killing. FBG Cash's murder in June 2022 added further fuel to the speculation surrounding Dirk's connections to these incidents. FBG Cash had become a high-profile figure after Duck's death, releasing tracks that called out his deceased rivals, including King Vaughn. As Cash rose in visibility, the risk of violent retribution grew, given the intensity of his lyrical provocations. The streets suggest that, in a similar manner to Duck, Cash's killing could also have been part of a larger pattern of orchestrated hits. This theory is based on Cash's rising status and vocal antagonism toward Dirk and his affiliates, making him a clear target if rumors about hits financed by Dirk were indeed true. The alleged financial transactions tied to Dirk and his team play a crucial role in this theory. If Dirk or his crew members contributed money toward these hits, it could serve as substantial evidence for the federal murder-for-hire charge, which places Dirk in a dangerous legal position. Unlike street rumors or lyrical confrontations, any tangible link between Dirk's finances and these killings would be critical in establishing his role in organized criminal activity, leading to potentially severe consequences. The streets underscore that if prosecutors can establish a financial trail connecting Dirk to these murders, it would elevate the charges to a federal level, making it nearly impossible for him to escape conviction. Finally, the host reflects on the gravity of these allegations for Dirk's career and life. While drill music has often blurred the line between lyrical expression and real-life conflicts, Direct involvement in financing violent acts against rivals would represent a stark escalation. This involvement would not only tie him to street conflicts, but also cement a federal case against him. One that would be exceedingly difficult to defend against if evidence of financial transactions emerges. Real. Opus concludes that in this scenario, Dirk's alleged actions to uphold loyalty and retaliate on behalf of lost friends would ultimately risk everything he has achieved, making this a poignant example of the dangers inherent in maintaining close ties to one's past when moving forward to mainstream success. Stay locked in with real oppas and subscribe for the latest in the trenches. Stay dangerous.